Hey friends, tonight we are checking in to Low Sapphire Falls Resort at Universal Studios Orlando for a little staycation. We are here for the whole weekend going to the Orlando Informer Meetup and I figured I'd give you guys a little room tour, show you around the resort and then we're going to hop on over to Universal, kick off the Informer Meetup, eat lots of food, ride lots of rides and just have a beautiful Orlando Informer Meetup kind of night. Anywho, let's go do this. The best thing about this staycation is Gracie is going to be staying with me. We're at Universal Studios Orlando. Are you excited? She's excited. She wants to go to the pool right now. The Orlando Informer Meetup is a separate ticketed event that anybody can buy tickets to go to. It is $229 and you get Universal Studios Orlando and Islands of Adventure basically all to yourself. You get into the park at 5 p.m. and the event runs till 1.30 in the morning, but all of the food and beverages are included in the price of $229 for one night and it is incredible. All of the rides are limited to like no wait times at all and it is incredible it's the best way to do Universal Studios Orlando and they also have amazing hotel packages where you get to save 30% off if you're coming to the Orlando Informer meetup I'll talk a little bit more about the Orlando Informer meetup once we get over there but I'll also put a link in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself now I want to start heading on into the resort show you guys around a little bit get Gracie all comfortable and uh, enjoy a little bit of the uh, resort itself Gracie has stayed at just about every single Lowe's Universal Resort, so I'm excited to see if she's going to like this one. She's never stayed here before, and we're going to go head to our room now and pick up our luggage, and they give you like a little tiny doggy bag with dishes and mats, so we're going to get all settled in and then go explore around a little bit. Here is a little bit of a map of the resort. The check-in area is here. We're gonna be staying in Guest House 2. It's got this beautiful pool, and then we've got water taxis that take us back and forth to Universal Studios Orlando. It's a pretty big uh, resort, and it's kind of like a deluxe resort as well. It's very fancy, very nice. This is the main lobby itself, and it's kind of very cool because you can see out into the park. You can actually see the Hulk actually blasting off and Doctor Doom, a lot of like Islands of Adventure. So the lobby itself has a theme park view, and I think that's awesome. This resort has the feels of like a deluxe resort, but it's actually like a moderate, it's like a mid-tier one, and it still like four stars four diamonds the only thing that separates it is the fact that you don't get that all-day express pass like you would if you stayed at Portofino Bay or any of the high tier resorts at Universal and it goes for just around $300 a night and like I said you have transportation to the parks tons of restaurants a very nice pool but let me know what you guys think actually let me know if you think it's worth the $300 a night it's kind of compared to like uh, Disney's Caribbean Beach or Port Orleans like I mentioned, you can actually see right out into the park there, and we're gonna make our way over to our room. Oh, complimentary water. That's very fancy. It's got the fruit in it too. Florida oranges, lime and lemon, and then strawberry, kiwi, and fresh basil. I'm all for free fresh fruit water. This is no joke, some delicious water. The strawberries and the kiwis and the fresh basil. Mmm. I like it. We're making our way over to our guest house, but I just want to show you some of the amazing views. Look at this. It's, in, it's so beautiful here. Like, look at that. It's like a little tropical hideaway. And right there is Islands of Adventure, like I was talking about. I love it. I really do love it here a lot. Here's a look at the pool on this side. Wow. We should definitely hang out by the pool. What do you think, Gracie? She's looking down there. Gracie, what do you think about this place so far, huh? Do you like the pool? You wanna go swimming a little bit later on? I love it, the pool is very nice. It's got this weird like pattern to it. And then this is the uh, hotel lobby itself. They have two restaurants or maybe even three. A nice little game room there. Very cool, this is what the outside of the rooms look like. And here's our room. You wanna give them a room tour, Gracie? Go ahead. Woohoo! Look at her! <laughs> Is that your bed? What's your bed doing here? What? 
This is not your bed, that's your bed. This is a very nice room, very colorful, very bright. Gracie loves it. And I'm gonna show you guys around a little bit. Like I mentioned, it's got like a nice little beachy, like Florida vibes. I like these pillows here, look at this. Very nice. Got a nice little chair right here, two beds. And I just like how the light colors are in here. And it even comes stocked with Fiji. Look at that. Very, very fancy. Some glasses. You get a little doggy bed, a doggy bag. We'll go over that once we get a little more settled in. A little coffee machine, the fridge, the TV. And then I like the bathroom too. Look at this over here. It's very nice. The mirror actually is touch. It's a touch mirror. Look at that. Oh, I like it. Nice little stand-up shower. The bathroom itself. Let's see. Gotta check that good water pressure, you know? Holy moly! I wasn't expecting that! <laughs> wow! And then we've got a little storage closet here. That's a nice closet. I don't think you could fit in there. And you could definitely, you can't definitely get underneath the beds. Sadly, that's not happening, but I do like this room. It's very nice. I got a nice pool view kind of Could see out and look at the pool a little bit nice little garden view I think it'd be cool if they had balconies. That's the only like thing. I feel like it's missing. I Want to set up Gracie's dishes and my little workstation and then we're gonna go out explore around the pool a little bit Take Gracie for a walk and head on over to Universal Studios and uh, check in for the Orlando Informer meetup like I mentioned, when you come, they give you like a little Lowe's Loves Pets, like pet mat, some treats. Oh, look at little tiny piggies. Oh, she's gonna like those. Some dog dishes, or oh, even a little uh, Lowe's tag. And then also one of these little signs that say, enter with care. I'm gonna put this on her right now so she feels fancy like a princess. Only the best for this princess. She gets the good old Fiji water. Yes, there you go. That's the way. Simply untouched. Enough of the room tour. Gracie wants to go to the pool. I want to walk around a little bit and just kind of look at everything and uh, scope out the resort. Gracie, you lead the way. Go ahead, you lead the way, go. You lead the way. But look at how beautiful it is out here. It's very nice. There is the uh, lobby and the water taxi. I like this. It's very hard to make videos and vlog with a dog. Someone's banging on the window, huh? Hi, friends. <laughs> That's awesome. You got some friends there, Gracie. What's down here? Come on. It's a dead end. There's nothing down here, Gracie. You led me in the wrong direction. <laughs> There's nothing down there. <laughs> Come on, let's go up here. Up here, up these steps. Come on, let's go. Woohoo! Well, we made our way back up to the lobby. Maybe we'll head over to the tavern, grab a drink, chill out for a second. What do you think, Gracie? You want a, a pup beer? Strong Water Tavern. Sound like a good spot, Gracie? Come on. I like it. This is really cool. I like this strong water bar. It's kind of a tapas restaurant and we're outside. This is like a little patio area and it's all pet friendly and it's really fun. They even have little dog bowls and little treats for the dog -a -doos. And Gracie's loving it. I got a little beer just kind of hanging out. I would get something to eat, but I'm telling you, we are gonna eat a lot of food tonight. Hey, we are gonna eat so much food. And now we're back in the room. I'm gonna make my way over to Universal. I'll be back to see you in a little bit. Make sure you got some more Fiji. You want some more Fiji water? Huh? Right here? There you go. Very nice. See you in a little bit, baby girl. Love you. Put on some cartoons for Gracie Girl. I'm thinking Paws of Furry or Super Pets. Let's do Super Pets, huh? Let's see. Yeah, you want super pets? $29.99, oh my lord! <laughs> it's $20 for super pets. I don't think you're watching it today, Gracie. 
All right, now it's time to head on out and make our way over to Universal Studios. We're gonna take the water taxi over. I know I keep on switching out my hats because I wasn't sure which one I was gonna wear tonight, but I think I settled on the Deathly Hollows hat. I got it actually here at Universal Studios and I'm excited. This is kind of funny. This reminds me of Harry Potter a little bit, but inside Lowe's Sapphire Falls, they have like a spiral staircase. Look at this in here. This is really nifty. I don't even know what this is for, but I like all the pictures. This is really cool. I should bring Gracie here later. I bet you she'd love to run up and down these steps. The water taxi comes every 15 minutes and takes you right on over to City Walk. And I'm excited. I love all the water taxis. I think it's a fun way to get to the parks. There she is, our water taxi, our boat, our mode of transportation for this evening. Look at this. It looks so pretty out here. Look at that. Me and Gracie actually stayed at this resort last time. It was so nice. She loved it. I have a video that I never put out that I used uh, just as like exclusive content, but look at that. It's so cool, isn't it? And we have officially made it over to City Walk. It was literally just a two minute boat ride. It was a nice boat ride. I enjoyed myself very much. Here are the dates for the next Orlando Informer meetups for 2023. They have June 2nd and 3rd, November 17th and 18th, December 1st and 2nd, and December 8th and 9th. And if you plan on coming down anytime during those dates, it's so worth it. Tickets are still available. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description and you can come both nights or you can come one night. You have plenty of options, but you wanna book it as fast as possible because it will sell out. When you come to the Orlando Informer Meetup, you don't need a ticket to go into Universal Studios. You can get into the park as early as 5 o'clock, and then at 8 o'clock, everybody has to leave, and at 9 o'clock, the official meetup starts, and that's when all the free food goes on. And one of the coolest things about this meetup is you get to ride the Pterodon Flyers, which is such a cool ride, but you need to have a child with you to actually ride it. So for some people, this is the only time they're ever able to ride it. And we're gonna be doing that tonight. Each meetup has a separate theming to it. Like you have the winter meetup where you get to see the Grinch walking around the park. And this one is gonna be Mardi Gras because it's actually Mardi Gras starting tomorrow. And another cool thing that they have is a speakeasy where you actually get to go inside to like a little nightclub and go back to the Prohibition era and have some drinks. And each one, like I said, has a different theming, but I do love the Mardi Gras one because you get all of the awesome food and some of the menus so far look impressive. I did notice that Finnegan's changed things up a little bit. They've got New Orleans blackened chicken Caesar salad, and then they got some gumbo and jambalaya. I'm gonna be eating a lot of that food. Last year during the Orlando Informer meetup, they had the speakeasy and you had to find the password to actually get into it. This year, it's whoever signed up for the meetup within the first 24 hours gets guaranteed access. And look at that. We got ourselves a little chip. We're going on in. Just like I said before, lots of friends, lots of food. Promise, Kristen, Taylor, Ryan. It's gonna be fun. Gonna be Taylor and Ryan's first time coming tonight. We got some pros over here. I just, I'm so old, I've been here too much. Yep, but I'm excited. Let the eating begin. Yes. Now that we're officially in the park, we're really just kind of waiting until the event starts. Because I'm a pass holder, I can come anytime I want, but a lot of people actually use their ticket as like their vacation ticket to come to the park because you get so long from 5 p.m. to 1.30 in the morning. So we're just gonna kind of chill out and the best place to do that is at good old Finnegan's. It's an Orlando Informer meetup tradition, but don't worry, as soon as the actual meetup starts and the free food starts, this is the place I wanna be. I need to get some of that fresh jumbo and gumbo. That fresh jumbo, the gumbalaya, the gumbalaya. Starting out the night strong with some Irish coffee, and it looks like they added a little green to it for Mardi Gras. I'm excited. Gotta get all hyper for the night. It's gonna be a long one. We're here until 1.30 in the morning. And we're gonna be eating lots of food, so cheers. 
once the event actually starts they're gonna have little like areas where you have to go through like a little security check and you have to show them that you got your little wristband on which we do all right there it is it's eight o'clock the park is officially closed to regular day guests now between eight and nine the food isn't available but you can ride the rides and we got a little fireworks here too look at that We decided to make our way over to Diagon Alley because once you get in there and they check your wristbands, they start the food and stuff early, like around 8.30ish, so you can get butter beers and the ice cream. In fact, I think we're going to go to the ice cream place first because that's always popular. Here it is, Florian Fortescue, and you just go inside and grab the ice cream that you want. And they always have some amazing flavors, but they usually just have everything all set up, and it's just come in and grab and go. There's all the ice cream flavors right there. Look at all these incredible flavors. Apple crumb. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Thank you. Very awesome. Well, I love the ice cream. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you got chocolate, strawberry peanut butter right here. Salted caramel blondie. Earl Grey and lavender. That's the way. Chocolate chili. Is that the butterbeer? Thank you. Butterbeer ice cream. Clotted cream. Raspberry and chocolate. And sticky toffee pudding. Alright, so you can grab as much as you can carry and I don't want to eat a lot of ice cream So I'm just gonna try a little bit, but uh, they can't combine the flavors So you have to get one scoop of each individual and I actually grabbed a bunch of them. So we're gonna try some You can technically grab every single flavor of ice cream, but I didn't want to do that I just wanted to try a little bit of it. So I got strawberry peanut butter. I got the Earl uh, lavender gray and then I got the butter beer soft serve. And then I got the, uh, I think the pecan one. Or the, oh, the toffee one. Here we go. Butter beer, my favorite. Honestly, I feel like, I always knock the strawberry and peanut butter, but it is really just like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's really good, but overall, I gotta stick to my butter beer. And I just love it, in fact, I think I need to go get an actual butterbeer. Honestly, I feel like one of the big sellers for this event is the Endless Butterbeer. And that is hot, cold, and frozen. And just so you guys are aware, I am team hot. I think it's the best. Hot, and then regular, and then frozen. I'm not the biggest fan of the frozen one, but you can get all three. They've got the tongue-tying lemon squish. They've got the otter's fizzy orange juice. The fishy green ale. I'll take a fishy green ale. There we go. Excellent. And then a lot of butterbeer. Look at me just sliding it down here. There she is. The hot butterbeer. Thank you. Regular. Oh no, that's frozen. Regular hair. Pumpkin juice. Don't mind if I do. Excellent. I think we did well. Look at all of these drinks. And now we're chugging. Harry Potter drinks. <laughs> All of the Harry Potter drinks are really cool and they're a little unique. But the thing that I'm in love with, the hot butter beer. Much too good. Oh my lord. Go. <laughs> oh, I, it was the same. It was the same. Oh no. I, I call it a tie. It's a tie. It's a tie. <laughs> And did you even drink a butterbeer? If you don't got a butterbeer mustache? Did you even drink one, Ryan? He didn't even drink one. Okay, that was fun. That's, I, I don't know if it was the best decision to start off the night though with ice cream and butterbeers. So we definitely need something, a little savory. That's why we're gonna head back over to Finnegan's for some gumbo laya. Are you getting a turkey leg? I wish I was getting a turkey leg. Oh. You have a turkey leg? Yeah, have a turkey leg? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Break me off a piece of that turkey leg. <laughs> Ryan, you want one? 
So far, $429 have been charged over here. Wow. You can get cheese sauce with your turkey leg? No. Oh, <laughs> thank you. We just went from butter beers and ice cream to a good old fashioned turkey leg. Gobble, gobble. Cheers to turkey legs. Cheers. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Another really awesome perk about coming to the Informer Meetup is you get like basically a whole park to yourself and you get to see it like not crowded and it's kind of pretty at night. Look at how nice and empty it is over here. I mean, you can really wait until later on and get one of those iconic like sitting down on the road pictures where it's just you because later on there'll be nobody here. We were gonna head straight on over to Finnegan's, but since it just hit nine o'clock, uh, the line was a little long, so we're gonna hop into Louie's, and I'm gonna not eat so much tonight because I wanna, you know, kinda stick to like the really good foods, you know what I mean? Like definitely Finnegan's and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna probably partake in a lot of pizza. Partake in pizza. They literally just have everything so you can grab and go. You get yourself a tray. Or a cannoli. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Yeah, grab me a cannoli or two. <laughs> now I sound like Dr. Seuss. Pepperonis, the regulars. I think I'm gonna do a pepperoni, eh? There we go. This pizza isn't the best pizza, but it is free pizza. And honestly, it's all that matters in this world. Hot! Kristen, what'd you get? Uh, what of everything. 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 Are you guys sharing that fettuccine? No. Are you carb overload? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Lady in the tramp. Yes. You grab one noodle. There you go. This could end up on the, the deep web. <laughs> 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 oh, how romantic. <laughs> Enough of the pizza business. It's time for the good stuff. Finnegan's. Oh, wow. Look at There's a lot of people in there. They must be serving up some good gumbo and some man catching beignets. Over the years, we have seen Finnegan's have wings, little beef pasties. Of course, they always have the bread pudding, which is one of my favorite things. So we're definitely gonna be getting some of that and the whiskey sauce, extra whiskey sauce. This looks like some good gumbo. That looks good. Can I have it without the rice? Yeah. Just straight gumbo. Look at that. Some shrimpies in there. Much too good. Oh yeah, look at. She hooked me up. I see what you did there. I like it. And then we got some jambalaya here. I'll take some jambalaya. What's that one? No meat? It's uh, vegan. Vegan. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice to have a vegan option. Yeah, Yeah, give me a double scoop. Any Caesar salad? Oh, that's like fresh grilled chicken there. Holy moly. Can I have some of that chicken? Yeah. I like it. Thank you. Caesar salad? No salad. Just the chicken. Thank you. Can I put this right here? Thank you. And then the bread pudding. The best. Oh yeah. Oh. Hey, can you give me some more of that icing on top of there? Give it a double scoop. <laughs> that is the best. Oh my lord. The key to my heart. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this. I love this so much. Look at this food. I'm gonna feast right now. The gumbo looks pretty good. And there it is, the bread pudding, folks. First things first, we're gonna take a little jambalaya. Then, a scoop of that hot gumbo. Look at that hot gumbo. I'm gonna burn myself right now, I feel like. But this is the gumbalaya. Thank you. This is the nice little jambalaya. Not, not a lot of vegetables. A little bit better, I think. I mean, this is the gumbo. A little bit better than the ones we had yesterday or the other day at Hollywood Studios. But I do like the jambalaya as well. But I just want to jump right to this. And you know what? It's your Orlando Informer meetup. You can have dessert before you have dinner. 
Finnegan's is a success. It's going to be hard walking away right now, but I got to do it. Can't get full. We still got lots of good food to try, but I want some more jambalaya. The gumbo has a nice little kick, and I'm going to miss that bread pudding. I think I'll come back. I'm coming back for you, baby. Now I think we're going to try to travel over to the speakeasy. We got to show them our tokens. We don't have a South, South Side Slim here. Oh, we're South Side Slim today. Tomorrow, Southside Slim's gonna make his return. Hopefully, they don't ask too many questions. Mind your P's and Q's, sir. I'm sorry. I'm uh, my, my partner here. Right. Oh, okay. uh, Bob, say your name. I'm Harry Hyde. Oh, and hi, I Harry am Hyde. Sammy Seek. Oh. We are detectives Hyde and Seek. Oh. Mm -hmm. Prohibition detective. That makes sense. The hash. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Because uh, alcohol's illegal around here. Yeah, so alcohol's um, alcohol's illegal. Oh, we got a runner. runner, we got a runner. She's <laughs> Please not care. Who is it? Us. Southside Slim. Southside Slim. <laughs> all right, all right. You guys got tokens? Yes. Yes. Let me see him, let me see him, make sure you're legit. Alright, all right. come on in. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, you're welcome. I like your shirt, it looks like something Teddy Roosevelt would wear. Hey! Sorry, I didn't mean to alarm you, come right on in. Oh, hi. There's no password, I forgot it. <laughs> make yourself nice Forget right about at it. Home unless you're a slob at home, then make yourself nicer than you are at home. Oh, will do, will do. I like this place. New this year, we got a little craps and a little casino here. These chips? Yeah, sure. It's worth 50,000. Really? 50,000. Oh, oh. Do I give it away? Or do you keep it as a souvenir? 50,000. I, I know, I want to keep mine as a souvenir. If you wanted to play any of the games, and they have multiple tables, they have blackjack, roulette, craps, you have to give them your coin, and you won't be able to come back in, and you would get 50,000 like chips. So I kind of want to keep mine. I'm going to hang on to it, because then I want to bring it back the next night. You know, or maybe they'll give me another coin. I don't know. I'll find out. Here is a look at some of the drinks that you can get. They have some specialty cocktails. Uh, wine by the glass is $10. Beer is $8. Of course, they got like old fashions and Manhattans in here. It's actually just a full service beer, uh, like bar. That was a fun little trip inside to the little speakeasy. We didn't end up getting anything because we want to keep moving along. We have to head over to Islands Adventure. We're going to do Pterodon Flyers. Maybe get a Dagwood and uh, try some more food. You got a hot dog? Yes. You have hot dogs? I do have hot dogs. Oh, I'll have a hot dog. Please. I'll take a hot dog. <laughs> hot dog? Hot dog? I'll take a hot dog. Oh, and you got hot cocoa too? Yeah. Wow, you guys got everything. They have everything. Hot. How dare you? Hot cocoa, hot dogs. Hot dogs, hot cocos. We're back on the hot theme. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. That's a big hot dog. Kristen is literally combining hot dogs with churros and white claws. The fact that this combination is actually happening right now is blowing my mind. How is it? Now we're going to be able to hop over to Islands of Adventure, but we're going to be able to walk right through it so we don't actually have to go outside the park. It only takes a minute. Anytime I walk this way, I kind of just think of Halloween Horror Nights, and I love it. I love being backstage. I like seeing the different sound stages. Now that we have made it all the way on the other side, I'm going to stop into the Circus McGurkis Cafe Stupendous. I don't know what they're serving up today, but uh, maybe the roast beast. Every Caesar salad. Just like over at Louie's, they've got Caesar salads and pizza, but they also have pizza tots and buffalo tots, and also a brookie. But during the winter event, they have the roast beef sandwich, which I love. Got the pizza tots, got the buffalo tots. Gonna grab myself a water. You want a brookie? Uh, no, I'm okay. All right, no brookies. They do look good though. You think I should take one? I'm taking it, because you said so. You talked me into it. Look at this. You got to have good hand strength. Grab myself some pizza tots. Look at this. And these barrels are good. 
A little pepperoni. Don't mind. If I do. Some buffalo chicken. Yeah. I like it. We do need to get those tendies though. These are really good. I honestly like the pizza ones better than the buffalo chicken ones. You know, but at least you get whole chicken in there. It's not too shabby. What, now it's time for the Pterodon Flyers. Oh, Only time we can ride this is right now. I'm so excited. Like I mentioned before, you can only ride this ride if you have a small child to accompany, and this is the only time that you can ride it during these Orlando Informer meetups without uh, a little child. Sayonara. Yeah. Bye. Better move it. We'll miss you. Don't too much. Bye, Nate. I feel like a toddler. <laughs> Awesome riding the Pterodon Flyers. It's so cool. Trust me, if you've never done it before, it's such an exhilarating ride. And if they didn't do like a random lottery, the wait time would be hours. I would literally come here and see how many times I can ride that ride. That's how good it is. But now we gotta move along, get some more food. Wait, are you really going? I'm going too. <laughs> I might die, but I'm going for it, guys. <laughs> wait, wait. Dave's going. Ah! Ah! <laughs> God! Bye, Bye forever, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Coming down? I'm scared. You can do it. Okay, hold on. I believe in you. I'm going to put my bag in the bag. Ah! <laughs> oh, my gosh. What if I get stuck? You won't. <laughs> That's a way. <laughs> As we're making our way over to Marvel Superhero Island, I wanted to stop at the King Kong like little stand here because they have a Kong Dong, which is like a <laughs> Kong Dong, Kong Dong, and, <laughs> and they also have a banana, uh, like little like frozen drink. Yeah, it's like that. A banana icy. A banana icy. And it is a Kong dog. A Kong dog. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even know they had cinnamon pretzels That's like this. Look at this. Oh what kind of pretzel? I mean, this is impressive. So we're going to get it. We're gonna. I'm, I mean, I'm going all in. We gotta get some icing a little bit. But normally. It's too good. Oh, hold it. No. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try some of the pretzel. Hey! <laughs> Away in the major mountain. Kong dong. <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little bit cold. It's getting chilly out and we're gonna be here for two days So I think we're gonna actually probably start making our way out. We already had lots of food It's been so much fun and uh, there's one last thing we have to do There is just one last thing I need to check out and that is if Frankenstein is still sitting here waiting for my mom, but it looks like no Frankenstein Instead, we got Beetlejuice. I wonder if my mom would be afraid of Beetlejuice. Mom, if you're watching this, does Beetlejuice scare you or is it just Frankenstein? Now it's time to make our way out of the park and over back to our boats and go see uh, little Gracie girl. Kristen, how you doing up there? Good? Good, good. <laughs> Oh, 
There she is! Oh, you miss me? Did you miss me? Oh, what? Oh, oh, what? Oh, what? What were you saying? Huh? Were you over here? Were you in your... Oh, what? You little in your belly? Oh, 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 oh. Well, that was a fun time. I, I love the Orlando Informer meetup, and I love our little staycation here. Me and Gracie are going to hit the sack and go to bed, and uh, yeah, it's been nice. We could have stayed a little bit longer. It was open till 1.30, but I wanted to leave early to get back to see Gracie girl, and we got a lot done, and we're here for the whole weekend, so we're probably not going to have to you know, cram everything in one night. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want more information about the Orlando Informer Meetup, I will put a link in the description. You guys can check it out. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.